Welcome to The Recon Trader. In today's video, I will share with you some tactical analysis over on the Bitcoin chart, and I will be taking a look at the possibility of an incoming dead cat bounce, or perhaps is this price action going to continue to pounce even higher? But before we get too far into the weeds, I do want to look at the weekly options that will be expiring February 4th. That'll be this Friday. And the key level that I'm really keeping an eye on is going to be 36,000 and the 37,000 strike level. And that is because there is quite a bit piled up in this area. And we have about 1.3 million in calls at 36,000. But just above that at 37,000, we have almost another million million worth of options piled up on the call side now on the put side of the board we have around just about 600,000 so this week the 36 to 37,000 area would be a level that we could see a lot of battling going on after that the real next level to take a look at is going to be 40,000 and that's again where the calls have about half a million but the puts are basically at zero now if this week's price action can continue its momentum and get up around the 42,000 level that is where I think we would see a pretty strong defense especially with the puts having 1.4 million at risk at that level and so to quickly recap I'd say 36 to 37,000 strike level would be the pain point and then from there on we're really looking up at around 40,000 and then around the 42,000 and a lot of these levels will actually correspond to support and resistance once we get into the charts so with that being said let's jump over to the daily candle charts and again as I pointed out in the introduction as I have not seen any follow through on these moves lately and the majority of them have just been rolling over and therefore we could be in store for just another dead cat bounce that we've had time and time again. And here is another example of a dead cat bounce just about a week or two ago. And so my initial thought looking at this price action is are we setting up for just another dead cat bounce and a move lower to down say around 32,000 would not be out of line. Now, a level we were interested in was actually this 36,000 level, and we do seem to be getting a little support at this level, which would make complete sense given the options expiration level that we are just looking at for 36 to say 37,000. And so the price action may not actually sell off as low as it could with a typical dead cat bounce. It might actually swing higher because, again, we were looking at 40 to perhaps 42,000 being a target for the upside and so we may just see this price continue to swing up towards that 40 to 42,000 but there will be a lot of resistance around the 786 level on the Fibonacci's and that puts us around 40 to 41,000 and that was prior support and pretty good prior support and now it will turn into pretty tough resistance and as I mentioned earlier, I would expect quite a battle between 40,000 and 42,000. What might be more realistic is a rejection and towards the end of the week, a sell off back down towards that 37 and 36,000 level. But we don't make predictions. We just continue to watch the charts, understand these key levels and make our decisions based on those levels. And so with that all being said, if I drop in my support and my resistance levels here on my chart, you can see the red bar running through here is pretty much setting up at around 39,000 to the 41,000 level. This would really be a zone of resistance. You can see where we actually got pretty good support at around 41,000. And if we look back again, it was pretty strong support back here as well. That will turn into some pretty fierce resistance. And so the bulls would have a fight on their hands to get this price above 41,000. And again, given the options expiration strike prices, we also have that intel to consider and we know that 40 to 42,000 level is a key level in this battle. Now on the flip side, we really have support coming in down around the 34 to 33,000, but we do know the 37 to 36,000 level is a key level of support as well based on those options that are expiring on Friday. 
So with that all in mind, I am still looking to go short on Bitcoin, much like I did last week, where I was able to get into a short after the Fed meeting, and I captured a nice shoot and loop profit. I was only in the position for an hour or two, and I captured just over 20%. And so those are the opportunities I'd be looking at until I see the bulls actually stepping up on these moves. But since the all-time high, we pretty much see a dip down, a bounce, only to roll back over then we get another bounce we roll over maybe get a little bit of a bounce this is a pattern that is very much developing with these bowls of no follow through and so what i would actually be looking at is if we get up into around the 39,000 to 40,000 i will probably open a short depending on price action and then look for profit down here around that 37 to 36,000 level that i think will be a key level of support by the end of this week and i will try to create a video where i actually get in the position and get out of the position how i set up my take profit it, my stop loss but unfortunately I'm not always at a location where I can record the actual trade itself so we'll just have to see what happens with this current price action now if I add in the EMA ribbon you can see Bitcoin's price is still below this EMA ribbon which means we're in a bearish market currently and you can see these bounces into the ribbon and rejecting here we bounce up and reject around the ribbon we touch the ribbon here and strongly reject we're now approaching that ribbon once again which happens to fall in this resistance zones and so this all acts as confirmation and therefore if I see the price move up into the resistance zone and start to reject from these EMA ribbons that would be my signal to get short now I will have a very tight stop loss and my take profit level will depend on my entry and a risk versus reward ratio of one to two or preferably one to three. That will all depend on my actual entry and my stop loss will also be dictated by that entry. And so at the end of the day, until the bulls can get this price up above these EMA ribbons and flip the ribbon, and what that basically means, we need to see the red, purple, orange, and yellow lines on the bottom and the green and the blue lines on top. At that point, then I would be looking to go bullish so i think that's enough jaw jacking for today if you like this video do me a favor spike a like if anything major happens on the charts i will do an update video so you might want to shoot that subscribe button so you don't miss those future videos if you have questions or comments drop them in the comment section down below and until next time remember never send your money into battle without first doing your recon see you in the next video